In today's video, we're gonna be making this starting soon screen, but the focus of this video is not the starting soon screen. It's actually gonna be two tools we're gonna to use to make it. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you how to use Canva to create all sorts of unique and interesting animations. So let's get into it. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I am your content cleric. Around here we make videos just like this, utilizing all sorts of amazing tools and products to make your streams look banging on an absolute budget. So today we're gonna to be diving into Canva. Almost everything we're gonna be doing today can be done with the Canva free account, but if you wanna try out Canva Pro, I'll have a link down below for a 45 day free trial for you to try that out. With that said, let's jump into today's video. So the first tool we're gonna to be using actually is not Canva. It is a new tool, a tool we've never shown on here, but a tool I actually kind of use frequently. So really I've got, been doing you guys a disservice by not showing it off, I guess. Uh, and that is placeit.net. Now, if you're anything like me, you knew that Placeit uh, has a ton of mockups, right? If I type in hat, we're gonna get an absolute ton of hat mockups, which is amazing, right? But something else that place it actually has is logos. And so let's say we wanna look for a gaming logo. And as I'm recording, I'm sorry, uh, the someone's yard outside is being mowed. And so if you hear it, I apologize. I got some music, hopefully it covers it. And so yes, just like this, we have some gaming logos, right? So I guess the idea is let's figure out what exactly we wanna do. Let's say that I'm going to rebrand for myself for Dr. Heels. And we're gonna go with one of these kind of unique gaming logos. Um, I go back and forth on whether I really like these logos or not. This right here is actually an intro, so it has video elements as well. Uh, I use that an absolute ton as well. So let's go back. I seen Mr. Rabbit, I think it's kind of cool. Let's go with Mr. Rabbit and we'll do Dr. and then Heels underneath it, okay? So when it pulls up, there we go. Just realized I wasn't logged in, so I had the watermark, but just shows you, you can actually go in and try to make something without actually being logged in. Uh, and that way you can see if you really like it or not. We'll do doctor on top and hills down below, uh, which is funny, this luckiest guy, this is actually the Fortnite font. I just happen to know that. And so here I can actually go in and I can change the fonts uh, to anything that I want. Let's go something like blue. I just want something kind of bold. That's all I was going for here. We'll do DR, do it all caps, see if it changes anything, not as much. So let's go here to edit, and here I can actually uh, change the color. So this is actually pulling up Fortnite, so there's gonna be uh, all sorts of emblems. This is the most Fortnite-ish one that I'm seeing. Let's say we actually wanna pull this guy in, right? With the click of a button, we can change our mascot. And, and we're not just limited to these mascots that are right here. Let's say we wanna look up Ghost. I don't know, I think I did Ghost in a recent video too. I don't know why Ghost just popped in my head, but let's say we wanna do that. Ooh, what is, yeah, there we go. Let's check this one out. Oh, that's a cool emote actually, right? That's kind of cool, right? So I looked for a while and ended up coming right back to the one that I started with. I think that's fine. Um, I'm actually gonna change these colors because these are not really my brand colors. I am a more of blue and purple kind of guy and more of this lighter blue color here. I could actually go get my actual hex codes if I want. I don't, so I'm just gonna throw some random colors in here, something like this. There we go, now that I have that purple in there, I think I wanna go a little lighter on the blue. Sure, something like that kind of works. This is not my style at all, and uh, yes, I'm struggling. Uh, but we're gonna try to keep it, we're gonna try to keep going with it. Okay, so let's go with this, that color, and that color, I think. I think that's a, that's a nice color combo. So let's go back here, go to edit, and I'm just gonna keep whatever, the Cyberpunk Cyan and there's a deeper purple here we'll go with that one i'm doing this for you guys okay this is not my style at all all right i'm going to change this uh to i want to do this purple color to bring it in but i think it's going to be too dark let's see dark okay i do want it to be a different color so what if Ooh, that looks kind of cool though what if we go with this pink color right okay we we have something like this i'm i'm not going to use this okay you know what i'm gonna go with this one I just, you know, I like the look. We're just gonna run with this one. against completely against my style, but that's kind of the point. I'll show you how to work with some different styles and stuff as well. Look, you even have some like recommendations over here. I dig it. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna change this just to doctor. I'm gonna spell out the word, heels. Then dab is what we have searched for here. I'm trying to see if there's anything. I kind of like this little guy, but let's just see if anything else works. What about the unicorn guys? I'm, I'm filling the unicorn. My daughter would approve. Like all the dabs are kind of amazing. I don't know. We'll go with this one, okay? And you can actually adjust the layout on this particular one. 
I think that we're gonna make better use of the space because of the shape of this and the way my words are if I go to this way, but I could be wrong because it looks like it's reorienting the words. I centered them here and it might right align them. I was really hoping it would left align them. And so we're just gonna go back to, no, this one, this one, how we started. Y'all can't let me make a logo at the beginning of a video. You know I take too long. Now what we're gonna do is um, I'm actually going to remove this part. And, and the simple reason that I am removing this part or I'm gonna hide this part is yes, it looks very good. And if I wanted this full image, I would leave it there. Um, you can go in and ha edit it and choose different things. I'm sure there's gonna be like a star thing and all kinds of different things, but I want it to be a transparent file. And if I leave anything in the background, it will not be transparent when I download it. And so I'm gonna click download and it should begin downloading or processing two different logos. One will be with the green background and one will be transparent. So while it's doing this thing, we're gonna go and click over here to Canva and I'm just gonna search for a starting soon screen. Now I'm keeping in mind my branding and, and what I'm working with here. And I'm gonna to try to find something that, that matches that. I'm, I'm assuming that you're starting this with a pre-made logo that you already have yourself, or maybe you just made over here and place it. And so we're gonna be looking for something that matches that cartoonish aesthetic. And something like this, I think looks really cool. It gives me something to think about. We might come back to that particular one. We'll see. This is really cool for that like lo-fi feel. I don't know if that quite matches what I have going on right here, but we'll see. And I think this is something good to start with actually. So let's go ahead and hit customize this template. Now clearly all of the colors are off and so we're gonna have to fix that, but let's go over here and see if uh, our file is ready. It is, I'm gonna click here to download and see this is the one that is transparent. Uh, I'm gonna switch back over here and I'm just gonna drag uh, our new Dr. Hills logo in. There we go. Makes me wish I had him. I have this cat dabbing in the background. That was actually just really fortunate. So let's, size up our Dr. Hills logo so it kind of fills this circle right here. And I am just making this up. This is not what I had planned. And so we're just gonna go with it, okay? I wanna change this circle because I want it to actually match this green, sort of like we had used before. Just like that, I think looks really good. This background color, I want, let's see, I'm gonna move those bubbles for a second. I'm gonna change this background color. Actually, I might use this background color as this blue or green rather, whatever color it is. And then I'll change this to maybe the purple, the dark green, that works. Okay, so now we're kind of bringing this together. Let's go and change this color. We want something that works here. And I'm just gonna go with white. I like white text on colored backgrounds. And uh, let's just change the text here. So something like that. So here we go. Here is our, the beginning of our stream, start, or my starting soon screen. I actually really, <laughs> I like this, this is fun. So in just, I mean, a couple minutes, I'm what? Like I'm 14 minutes in and I have what I would call a, a finished starting soon screen. However, I think we can do a little more with this. We have some animation going on. That was actually really fortunate. Uh, I was not planning on having any other animation whenever we started this. Let's see what we can do here. So with my starting, my uh, stream will start soon. Let's animate that so there's a little bit of action here. So I've grouped it together. So a little trick here. If I click it, see how it does. Whatever's highlighted in purple is what is going to be animated. If I click this one, it's gonna be animated. If I click this one, it's gonna be animated. I can't just click the whole group and animate the whole group unless I ungroup it and then regroup it. See, now it's all selected in purple. I want it all animated together. And so I'm gonna animate and we'll just look at these for a second. So this one just is gonna slowly drift across the scene. That has a cool feel. Breathe is gonna like slowly get bigger, slowly kind of draw back in, I think is a cool feel. These are just animations for them to come in. I really want it to be a, a continuous movement, right? And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna do a, a drift to it. I think that is perfectly fine. I'm gonna have it go to the right. And then I could even actually add a like pulsing effect to it if I wanted to, just like this, I'm gonna bring my intensity down. And so as it's drifting, it is slowly kind of pulsing, gives you a little bit of movement, a little bit of excitement happening here, right? Now, um, what I don't want is it to go over to this side and then the, whenever it loops in OBS, it jumps back really fast. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to click this and I'm going to duplicate it. And now in here, I'm gonna select this group again. Notice how it's all in the purple box. I'm gonna hit drift and over here on drift, I'm gonna change the direction. I want it to go back. And so now if I play this from the beginning, it is pulsing, it is drifting, and it should get to a point and start going back the other direction. There we go. Something like that. There's a little jump in between I didn't love, so let's try to add a cross dissolve transition. Clicking right here and hitting add transition. We will actually do, we'll do, um, we'll do a match and move actually. We'll see if that feels, makes it feel a little better. Let's uh, bump up our timing on it a little bit more. 
still had a little bit of an odd feel to it, but uh, I think for this it's okay. We could absolutely play with this timing uh, until we get something that, that looks and feels good. There you go. You couldn't hardly see that one. I don't think most people would notice it. Let's just, let's go back with none, see if that was actually better or worse. Ooh, actually, I have a cool one. I did this earlier. It was a circle wipe. Let's see, not the whole slide, that one. Um, the flow actually looks really cool, I think. That would actually be cool if you did um, like flow in between and you actually change the text from stream will start soon and change it to like, you know, hash or exclamation mark QOTD, right? Your question of the day and your question of the day was like, but I put myself on the spot, um, right? Do you wear glasses? I just looked at my camera and that's the first thing that came to mind, okay? Right? So I don't know. You have something like this. And so now when the transitions come, it changes. Sure, we'll start soon. Question of the day, do you wear glasses, right? And so it gets people talking in the chat while you're waiting uh, for the stream to come up. Now let's say, you know, our little logo is just chilling here. We actually want it to do something. And so the same way that we have some animations on that other one, we can also add some animations to this one. So I kind of like the breathe effect for, for this one, uh, because again, it, it's gonna get bigger and, and smaller and we'll have it kind of change. But then we can also add in a, I don't know, a rotate, right? You can add in this cool rotate while it's doing that. You can add in like this flicker where it's just slowly going on and off. You can add in just a wiggle where it's moving around. I wish I could slow this wiggle down even more, but that's not bad. It feels like maybe a little, a little much, a little too much movement, but this is definitely an option that you can have. And so I'm just going to copy this one and I'm going to delete this one and I'm gonna paste this one back on this side. And so it has the same animation. However, I don't want it to breathe out on this one. I want it to breathe back in. And so as it's going through that loop, it is getting you know, bigger and it'll, all right, we'll watch just, it, it's slowly getting bigger as it's kind of doing its wiggling. Maybe this is a little bit much, I don't know. And then as you go over, it's kind of drawing back in, right? So I think this is a, a really cool idea for a starting soon screen or a be right back screen. You can add in your question of the day, easily duplicate this page again. This time set him to, to breathe out. So it's that back and forth, right? And then you could change this to, um, remember to use that prime sub, right? You can just, whatever you want. You can actually build this out as long as you want. It has stream information. It has stuff telling you this, the stream is starting soon, right? So maybe on these where it doesn't say starting soon, I could put uh, a little bit of text over here to the side that says, you know, guys, if I could type, we would, these videos would be half the time, right? We could put something over here like this. We'll, we'll bring the size down so it's not super obnoxious and do something like that. And so like in just a couple minutes, we have a really, really cool starting soon screen. I'm like legitimately thinking about rebuilding my starting soon screen now after looking at this and kind of the things that we can do with it, right? And so within a few minutes, you have a really cool starting soon screen. But the, the one thing that I want you to remember is like the animations that we have. And so what I wanna do is I wanna take a minute and show you a couple other ways to do animations other than the simple things we've done already. We have simply added in animations, but let's say that we don't want any of these animations. So we're just gonna remove all these animations, right? and we wanna kind of make our own animation. There, you can actually do that. You can, you can almost keyframe things in, um, let's see, is this, this is animated, animate? You can, you can keyframe things um, in Canva. Sorry, my brain stopped working. Okay, so I'm going, to, I'm going to shorten this to about five seconds long, just like that. And then I wanna cut it in half, right out there. We'll press S to cut it in half. So now we have two, two spots. What I wanna show you is, let's say I start with him over here and then by the next slide I want him to be over here I can actually go in between these two slides add a transition and do a match and move transition just like that and so with match and move he's actually going to move from one side to the other during this transition now I want it to be a little slower so I'm going to go with my maximum uh, amount of time I can do and he's going to right here sit there and then when it hits that transition it actually moves the other side so uh, at the same time, you don't have to just go straight across. Let's say he moves to the top right corner. And so when the timer hits, he's gonna move to that top right corner. Maybe immediately at, at right after he hits the top right corner, you want him to move back down here to the bottom right corner, right? Add in your transition, your match and move transition, and you're essentially adding keyframes. You're controlling where you want him to go. As soon as it hits that, it's gonna boom, go in the direction you want it to go. So that's one way we can do this, is with our match and move transition. 
Something else that we can do though is something new that's just been added to Canva is we can actually go to animate here and, oh, if I click the right button, that is on page animations. I wanna make sure I have my object selected, make sure it's on photo animations, and I'm gonna go to create an animation. Now what this is gonna do is whatever path I, I put it on, you see that purple line that's being drawn? Any path that I put it on, it is going to follow that, right? Just like that. Now I'm gonna set it to smooth, and I'm gonna speed him up a little bit, right? And so now he's actually following that path that I put him on, and he's following the speed that I put him on too. So let's watch it again, okay? Let's delete that path. Watch, I'm gonna go slow, fast, fast, down, back, right? Slow. Fast, 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 down and back, right? Now, there is plenty of ways to mess this up and, and not quite get it right, but if you really just kind of focus on it, like, I think you could do something really neat with this. Now, I don't know that I would do it as, like, crazy as we've done it here, but, hey, you could if you wanted to, right? There we go. That one's a steady. It does keep the speed the same when you hit steady, right? But let's go with original. There it goes. <laughs> We'll smooth it back down, right? But there is a lot of control that you get just using this create an animation. I'm just gonna delete our path here. But that's just a few different things that you can do. Oh, delete path, go back, I don't wanna create a new animation. A um, few different things that you can do, a lot of cool ways to animate things, make them look really good. You see these bubbles going on the side here? Um, if we were to look for something similar to that, we could go with animated bubble, right? And we should, yeah, under your graphics, hit see all, right? Oh, there, right here's, I'm pretty sure, the same one we're using right now, that's it. Perfect. Right, so there's that. Now, if we wanted to look and see more, we could hit see all under magic recommendations, right? And now we have you know, several. We actually have this one that has color, you know? And so we could add in the color or we could add, you know, whatever this is. We can put this on top of it, something like that. And then we're gonna drop that opacity to like 15, you know? And so you kind of have this like shimmer effect that goes by every so often and maybe we want to actually position it behind our logo so our logo always stays out and, and at the center, right? So we're gonna drop it down just like that so it's gonna go behind our logo. And so just every so often you have this going on. Anyway, tons of ways to add animation and add movement and make your starting soon be right back or whether you're gonna use these same animations in your overlays or anything like that, plenty of options to do so and just an absolute million of options under Place It as well. I'll have a link to Place It down below if you wanna check it out and I'll absolutely have a 45 day free trial of Canva down below as well. Whatever you guys make, make sure you let me know. Join my Discord and post in the share your art category I always love to see what you guys make using these tutorials. And if you haven't already, follow me over on Twitch. I stream over there three nights a week. Uh, I'd love for you to come and hang out sometime. All right, I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.